So let's head over to the game zone. So, monarchy. So, speeds map. Me versus you, losers bracket round 2, 2016. Yep. Very strange. Not sure how Blackheart lost, but Petrich apparently just suicided, as he said in the last game. Some complaints about the map. And much balance whining normal. So let's see what is the plan. On this map you kinda just try walk into your opponent's base because it's 5x5. Make some units, make a bit of air, walk into your opponent's base. Uh, I think these players will be able to stop each other most likely. It's a very strange map. I mean, you got these mexes in here in the mid that uh, they're difficult to get and difficult to kind of difficult to take back if uh, your opponent gets a PD up and stuff. And I'm not sure about these uh, civs in mid. There's probably some nice reclaim from these buildings. These uh, civ buildings actually look pretty cool. Although the bitrate on my stream may not be good enough to actually see it properly. Second air from Petrich. No air plan from Blackheart. Kinda like this no air approach. You can just use the new and improved mobile anti-airs to defend versus bombers. Scout has pause symbol. Yeah, I guess Blackheart has played, I think he said, two games and six votes. So, you know really going hard at it. Petrich using the the Selene scout you can see it has uh, the change they're talking about is it the stealth and cloak is a toggle ability now so you click the toggle button it takes five energy now rather than being free and you can see it doesn't get selected when it's toggled unless you select it alone Blackheart does not understand this clearly because he doesn't play the game. So he hasn't toggled his scout. So it's just standing there. So I don't see any anti airs queued, just have a lot of NGs and tanks. Uh, I think he really needs to. He needs to make some anti-airs because Petrich has a bomber out and this bomber can do a lot of damage I think. So good tanks here are going to deny Petrich from getting some mexes and reclaim. There are some nice reclaim patches, there's here, a few tanks here, a few tanks down here and mirrored across the map. Let's see what this bomber does. Got some micro. Hover bombing is gone? I think not. Not with the correct micro. It is a lot more difficult to hover though. So there is two kills already for the bomber. And anti air on the way out. Just finished. And if BH micros it to follow this bomber, he can kill it a lot faster, but no, the bomber escapes. And look for more targets. <coughs> The H has three tanks in here. They are looking kind of lost. <clears throat> but at least they're not running into the ACU. Uh, there goes an NG that was building a mix. <clears throat> Excuse me. And BH has enough, enough anti airs in his base, but he has none out in the field. This bomber actually targeting a Selene, that's not a good target. So, both ACUs just chilling on this side of the map. 
This tank did a good job denying the energy building the mechs on the side. And Black Air probably, yeah, it's pretty dangerous here to be fighting. I guess uh, Petrich at least knows what's going on. He knows there's no units here, but BH is forced to retreat. He has no such intel. So there could just be five tanks, and five tanks in an ACU kills an ACU eventually. So uh, he's going to be a bit careful, I think. He can uh, retreat into this pond. Very conveniently placed ponds that you can hide your ACUs in. Let's see, we just have T1 land. And nothing else planned, it seems. That was a rhyme. That I did not mean. Still, this Selene just gives perfect intel. Pretty handy unit. Under and still zero units on this side of the map. Now we can see a couple of tanks coming for BH. I wonder if you can reclaim these with an energy down here. Probably can. Don't know if there's any mass in there though. If we look at the... oh, BH is gonna try bring his units through, but this is gonna fail. Petrich sees it instantly, thanks to this, uh, Selene. And now they're just gonna fight. But, uh, it's not all tanks. It's all tanks for... all tanks and arties for Petrich, but, uh, there's anti-airs mixed in for BH. He's moving his units well, so the arties aren't really landing many shots at all. And he's gonna win this fight, it seems. Or at least, well, more of a, more of an even trade. Now he just—it's all about who gets the reclaim. But BH is looking pretty good. This bomber seven kills. It is gonna die to this anti-air surely, as long as the anti-air has radar, it does. Oh my god, the bomber doesn't die. And gets another kill. Thanks to two vet levels, it's the only reason it survived. The fights continue over here. Both players sending every single unit to this side. Actually, I'm wrong. Some units sent to the bottom by Petridge. And more bombers planned. This bomber just being a nuisance gun some mexes. But Petridge is in, in quite a bit of trouble, I think, on this side. So much reclaim here to be grabbed. This is the game winning amount of reclaim. And Petrich can be can be quite aggressive here because you can just pop into the water and there's pretty much no way to kill him. Because T2 air making T2 air in this map is probably not advisable to make those tar bombers. So Petrich has kind of pushed BH back and maybe he can actually take this reclaim. But I think BH still has more tanks on this side. Let's see, let's see the total tank count. We've got 36 tanks and 27 for Petrich, so that's a serious advantage. And actually Petrich is still sending quite a few units to the bottom, which I think is a mistake. He can't actually do much damage unless he runs them all the way into the base and BH is using his ACU getting some of this uh, is there a reclaim in here? Uh, it looks like there isn't actually any reclaim in those buildings. At least in the middle one. And Petrich is using the Zooey's really well. You can see they all have a couple of kills. Just using them to kite and uh, yeah, that's good play. Hmm, risky for Petrich to try move in this direction because if BH just turns around and brings his army, then um, maybe it gets very dangerous. But BH wants to use his ACU to just take this reclaim field, and I think that's a great, great choice for him. He should be able to just secure it now. And Petrich can just get shoved back at any time, really. He can't really push through here. He, could, he would just die when BH turns around and brings his army with the commander and just kills Petrich. 
So it looks better and better for BH, I think. He needs to get some NGs here, though. To get this reclaim. And if he really wants to push here and push into this base, he should bring some Arties. Don't see any PD started or anything. And I think one PD would stop him for a certain amount of time. Actually, BH has a couple couple mixes here. It's pretty good. A nice advantage. <coughs> and Petrich is desperately running back towards his base. Unfortunately, he's getting blocked by his his own tanks. Ah. Oh. Great pathfinding. Do you have any PD started? I don't see any PD started. I also can't see any engineers, but I'm not sure if that's because of this horrible blue color that burns my eyes, or if he just doesn't have any. So, still no NGs reclaiming. That's unfortunate. And Blackguard, I don't think he's made a pigeon in the last, well, I think... I don't know, almost the entire game. He hasn't added any more pigeons. So he probably can't even use the, the reclaim if he got it. And he's being quite cautious. I think he knows. Yeah, he doesn't see the ACU in this area at all. So it's probably retreated back to the base to help out. And now we see some RDs come out. You always need RDs to, if you're going to push a base. But I think Petrich can, can defend here with his ACU here and also um, the defender's advantage. The bigger problem for him is not base push, but uh, it's the lack of mexes on the map for him. BH now 19 mass income, 211, 17 now. So a map control advantage. Does take out these mexes, that's pretty good rating. But. Mm, BH is going to get some vet, I think. Don't think he even needs to retreat into the water. Just one away. And... He missed. There we go. <clears throat> so... BH actually lost some HP there, but so that's a small disadvantage he has. I think overall, it's not going to make too much difference. He can just chill in this water. I don't think he's going to get trapped here or anything. He has so many units. Actually, the only problem I see for Blackheart is he has too many anti airs. Just way too many. 17. Each of those costs as much as a tank now because they, they basically all their stats got doubled. So that's just too many anti airs. I mean, if he was gonna try kill kill him with gunships then maybe Blackheart can actually lose a lot of HP here. He doesn't have any overcharge of course. So this shift G is gonna be pretty useful to do a lot of damage. It's, oh who's gonna win this now? I a lot of units coming in for Blackheart. Petridge is running out of units. And now he's getting blocked away from the ACU. Are we gonna see a draw? Can they draw here? I think the hill is going to block some shots. No, it's not. But I think Blackheart is going to escape. Oh my god. Yeah, the control K to draw. <coughs> Classic 5x5. Oh, BH was just... Yeah. It's hard to avoid a draw, but I guess... Just look at all the units he had. Elsewhere on the map, if he just had them with his ACU, there's no way he draws there. So, yeah, a bit of a misplay, but he had a serious advantage there. He had this game pretty much won, I think. So well done, Petrich, to actually catch him and get the draw. So, I'm not sure what happens. Do they have to play again on a different map? Not sure, not sure. <clears throat> Facepam from Zlo. Yep. Yeah. Bit silly there. 
and he had half his tanks across the map, and then his ACU just gets gets swamped. 